I grew up in Great Neck, New York. My father, Rabbi Jerome Davidson, was for 40 years the rabbi of Temple Bethel in Great Neck. And so I watched his rabbinate and saw how fulfilling it was. And as a child, I thought maybe this is something I'd like to do with my life too. I went off to college and there I discovered other interests. I thought perhaps I wanted to be a baseball broadcaster like any boy who loves baseball but isn't athletic enough to play it. Then after college, I was offered an internship at a synagogue in Cleveland, Fairmount Temple. And there I fell in love with congregational life again. And the next year, I enrolled at the Hebrew Union College in Jerusalem. The foundation of my father's rabbinate has always been his relationships with his congregants, the loving respect that they shared with one another. And I saw those relationships as so fulfilling for him and for my family. The congregation really became my extended family too. That I thought that perhaps the rabbinate would be a place where I could really be fulfilled. The other aspect of my father's rabbinate, which um, certainly was and is foundational for him and inspires me, is his commitment to social justice. He really saw and sees the congregation as a vehicle for doing God's work in the world. And there's certainly nothing that brings a congregation together like the opportunity to serve the wider community. Sixteen years ago in 1997, I was ordained on the Bema of Temple Emmanuel. So coming back to this congregation to lead it is especially wonderful. I've always looked at the rabbinate as an opportunity to serve the Jewish people. And there couldn't be a greater congregation through which to serve the Jewish people than Temple Emmanuel. Certainly because of the size of the congregation and the number of lives that I'll have the opportunity to touch but also because of the place that Temple Emmanuel holds on the Jewish landscape. It's always been a model of innovation. And so what we do here has an impact on the broader Jewish community. It's a legacy that we should be proud to uphold and one on which we have to build. I think congregations today face challenges that they didn't face a generation ago. We live in a time of dwindling affiliation. Individuals are able to create opportunities for Jewish meaning in myriad ways on the internet at numerous organizations that have popped up around the city and around the country. You don't need to be a member of a synagogue anymore to teach your children or to find opportunities for Jewish learning. The synagogue therefore has to prove its relevance in ways that it didn't before and one of the most important ways that we do that is by turning to our members and asking them what is it that would make Judaism more relevant, more meaningful in your life. And that's certainly something that I have been doing and will be continuing to do over the course of the next year, year and a half. I'm going to be sitting down with groups of 20 to 25 members at a time to introduce myself, but more importantly to hear from them what it is they would like the congregation to be for them, to learn about their passions and their interests. Ultimately, for us to create a congregation that is powerfully relevant in their lives, we need to hear what it is that matters most in their lives. My wife, Mia, is the associate canner at Westchester Reform Temple. We have two daughters, Lena, who is six, and Michaela, who is three. And we're looking forward to New York City becoming their playground and Temple Emmanuel becoming their home.